On the 17th of October, we marked International Day of the Eradication of Poverty. Poverty is not inevitable. It is a challenge that we can and we must overcome. Across the world, far too many people still struggle. Far too many people do not have access to clean water, to clothing, shelter, healthcare or education. And far too many people are excluded from society, denied the possibility of a dignified job, not given the opportunities to achieve their potential. Given that one in five Europeans and one in four children under the age of 18 in the European Union is at risk of poverty or social exclusion, the reality is as serious as it is alarming. Here in the European Parliament, we refuse to be bystanders. We are proud of all the work we have done already in making our Europe a frontliner in the fight against poverty. And yet more work remains. Poverty is a symptom of inequality, and we understand the responsibility that we bear to ensure that every person, no matter who they are or where they come from, has a chance to live with dignity, with purpose. This is why the European Parliament is looking forward to seeing the European Union's first anti-poverty strategy that was announced in the 24-29 political guidelines of the European Commission. This is a positive step forward by investing in education, affordable housing and job creation, by ensuring our social safety net works, we can lift millions out of poverty. This House will continue turning our policies into concrete action and we will continue to fight for fairness, for dignity and for opportunity for all.